Elon Musk, the SpaceX founder, is still determined on his company's aim of creating a human presence on Mars using its Starship rockets to carry people to and from the Earth. Meanwhile, SpaceX has some milestones to undertake before Starship could carry passengers and take giant strides. Now, I can almost hear you thinking about what could be the milestones. It's all about the capacity. Now Musk, with SpaceX, has taken a giant milestone with the vision of an insane new rocket factory to build more Raptor engines. You know what? You have to see the incredible things this new rocket is about to churn out. Watch on! Welcome back to our channel! If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring that bell so you're notified every time we upload a new video. Hey, let me briefly talk first about the general outlook of the SpaceX facility and tests. The headquarters of SpaceX is located in Hawthorne, California. It equally serves as the firm's main manufacturing plant. SpaceX operates a significant operation and research in Redmond, Washington, and has a test factory in Texas. It is operating three launch sites while the fourth site is under construction. The company has regional offices in Virginia, Texas, and Washington. The firm has its first rocket development and test facility in McGregor, Texas. Each of the SpaceX rocket engines is tested and carried out in rocket test stands at McGregor. At the same time, the testing of larger Starship prototypes is undertaken in the SpaceX South Texas launch site close to Brownsville, Texas. Now, let's go to the crux of the matter. Continue watching to see the giant strides of the new rocket factory. Musk reveals that SpaceX is building the biggest and most advanced rocket engine factory globally in Central Texas to assist the rising capacity of super heavy and Starship. This factory at McGregor would be the firm's second rocket engine production facility and would develop Raptor 2 engines. The Tesla CEO said that this new rocket factory would be in McGregor due to the challenges in the South Texas facility. According to him, the challenges of operating at Starbase left us with no choice but to put engine production in McGregor. Meanwhile, SpaceX already has a huge presence in Texas, even in McGregor, where the firm owns a testing facility to research and manufacture thrusters and new rocket engines, and also for testing of finished engines and their components. The firm leases four 1,280 acres and hires 500 workers in McGregor and earmarked $10 million for infrastructural works at the site. Wait, what are SpaceX's Raptors? They are engines of full-flow staged combustion cycle rockets made for use at Starship launch vehicles. Practically speaking, the insane new rocket factory would be the biggest output rocket facility ever constructed. It would produce hundreds of Raptor engines every year to outfit numerous interplanetary Starship fleets, plus the Earth-bound Super Heavy boosters, which would send them to the Moon, Earth orbit, Mars, and even beyond. Beyond. On July 10, 2021, the Tesla CEO affirmed that the new rocket factory would be the most advanced and largest output rocket engine worldwide. He revealed this plan after displaying an exciting set of 10 advanced Raptor engines stationed at the production site of the Boca Chica Starship SpaceX factory. What's more, SpaceX installs three Raptor engines and the first functional Super Heavy Boosters prototype for the new rocket project. On July 11th, Musk said that SpaceX has agreed on a vital Super Heavy's design aspect, determining that operational Starship boosters would eventually be outfitted with about 33 identical Raptor engines. This posits that every two-stage Starship vehicle would need about 39 to 42 Raptor engines and 36 to 39 variants of sea level, plus three vacuum-optimized engines featuring larger nozzles. Musk reveals that the new rocket factory would be a place to break ground on a second Raptor factory. In other words, the factory will concentrate on Raptor 2 volume production. At the same time, the California factory would craft Raptor vacuum and experimental designs. Specifically, the Raptor present design isn't enough. Thus, the CEO states that SpaceX's new rocket factory would establish an upgraded or advanced Raptor 2 engine, increasing the maximum thrust to about 230 tons, apart from the cutting off of small structural components needed for engine gimbling on 20 booster Raptors. All Starship engines, excluding 3-6 to six vacuum variants, would be identical. This insane factory, situated at the firm's expansive McGregor, Texas location, would produce between 800 and 1,000 Raptor 2 engines yearly. As stated, the production of Raptor vacuums would still be at SpaceX's Hawthorne, California headquarters. The Raptor 2, to be developed at the new rocket factory, would mirror the family of SpaceX's Merlin engine, consisting of two sea level and vacuum variants for over a decade. Moreover, with a single big volume of variants, Raptor 2 production would be very efficient and can simply outpace other big liquid engine production since history at 800 to 1,000 engines every year. Significantly, the yearly production of a single variant of any big liquid rocket engine since history won't be close to the height much Musk wants to reach for SpaceX's Raptor 2 production at the new rocket factory, including the Soviet Union's production of Soyuz between 1970 and 1980. Musk, who
who founded SpaceX in 2002, is confident of Raptor 2 production and subsequent results. He believes that SpaceX will take humans to Mars in 2026. In December 2020, he said that it's an achievable goal. About six years from now, SpaceX plans to send a Starship rocket without crew in two years. In another development, Musk reveals that he wants to use this new rocket factory to help fulfill his aim for a city on Mars in 2050. He said that the engines would be required for a fleet of rockets that would be used for a 10-year time frame to develop the city. He predicts that it will take him 20 years to create the city. SpaceX, the first private firm to take astronauts to orbit, and the ISS, International Space Station, in 2020, is developing a Starship and a satellite. The Starship would be developed with the production of Raptor 2. Starship is funded privately and intends to be the main SpaceX orbital drive once completed, and it would supplant the already Falcon Heavy, Falcon 9, plus Dragon Fleet, and it will possess the biggest ever payload capacity of a rocket. Musk has repeatedly said that he developed a rocket firm because he wants to colonize Mars. He argued that humanity should spread to a second planet as survival insurance. For him, the production of Raptor 2 at SpaceX's insane new rocket factory will make it come to fruition. What's your opinion on this Raptor 2 massive production in the new rocket factory? Do you think that SpaceX can build a city on Mars by 2050? We want to hear your opinion on these. Leave us a comment below. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and check out more awesome ones on the Simply Tech channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.